Today, Elon Musk cryptically posting, you'll thank me later. Each first letter of each word capitalized. Now, I have a funny feeling this has nothing at all to do with Tesla, but many of the extremely important issues he's currently bringing to light on his ex-feet. This is the kind of stuff that a father says to an angry kid who eventually will thank him later. And as we know, Elon Musk having opinions and highlighting important issues is terrible for Tesla and the board should have him removed immediately and blah, blah, and blah, but wait, what? Yeah. Top selling electric vehicles in Europe in the first half of 2025. Alexandra Tesla Boomer Mama also asks, who would have thought this when reading the fake news? I mean, mainstream propaganda outlets. Oh wait, same thing. Keep in mind, folks, as I've said in the past, the European media in particular is just, I don't think there's worse bias in terms of propaganda. I mean, the US is not that good, but bruh, Europe, especially pockets of Europe, I mean, in particular, like Germany. <laughs> I mean, I've talked about this in the past, rest in peace, my German friends. The amount of propaganda and the amount of retards who actually believe everything they hear in the fake news, especially in Europe, especially in Germany is stunning. Yet, despite that, top selling electric vehicles in Europe, first half of 2025, Tesla's Model Y, crushing everything. I mean, you can see visually, right? Head and shoulders above number two, which has a massive advantage of being a homegrown company versus a foreign invader. Oh wait, I better not talk about foreign invaders in Germany and Europe, otherwise somebody might get mad. P.S. You'll thank me later. So if this is what brand destruction looks like, I'd hate to see what a brand thriving looks like. The real question, how far do we have to scroll on this list of top selling electric vehicles in Europe to find a vehicle that isn't European made and also is not a Tesla? A spoiler alert, we're nearly number 10. And if you'll recall, you're a regular viewer, two videos in a row I've said that anyone who would object to Elon Musk's 2025 CEO compensation package, which is still proposed, shareholders will be voting on this very soon. Anyone who would object to this is fucked in their head. And I meant it. And I said, I mean it when I say it, I really mean it. Fucked in the head. Well, I saw this headline on X today from somebody who's clearly fucked in the head. Quote, Tesla board fully loses its mind and offers Elon Musk a pay package worth up to one trillion. In yesterday's video, we saw the rationale from the chair of Tesla's board. It's a completely reasonable pay package again. The very first tranche requires Tesla to roughly double in valuation and hit a massive operational milestone. For example, 1 million robot taxis on roads or 1 million human or robots delivered. In return, if Musk can get there, gets about an additional 1% stake in Tesla. Double the company's valuation, put a million plus robots or robot taxis on roads, money printers, disrupt multiple industries and get an additional 1% ownership in the company. You've led the double of bro. bro. This is just crazy. How can anyone object to this? It's beautiful performance-based compensation. But as I expected, there's a lot of Reddit mod types who personally have such low self-worth, they can't comprehend somebody bringing enormous value to the marketplace and getting compensated a very small percentage of that. The litmus test will continue. Expect more outrage from people who are completely and utterly fucked in the head. Now, an update. Elon Musk says, just had a great design review today with the Tesla AI 5 chip design team. This, by the way, essentially ending Dojo, I think officially. This is going to be an epic chip, and AI 6 to follow has a shot at being the best AI chip by far. He continues, switching from doing two chip architectures to one, e.g. rest in peace Dojo, means all our silicon talent is focused on making one incredible chip. No brainer in retrospect, and he does kind of have a point. Now, this, of course, is as much a recruiting post as anything else. Please join the Tesla Silicon team if you want to work on chips that save lives. Milliseconds matter. Elon was asked, the best AI chip for cars, you mean? He replies, could be wrong, but I think AI5 will probably be the best inference chip of any kind for models below around 250 billion parameters. And the way he's really judging best chip here is, quote, by far the lowest cost silicon and best performance per watt. Translating this out of the nerd jargon, he's really just talking about the biggest brain requiring the least energy to operate, which is what you want. However, he continues, AI6 will take that much further. So looping back to Musk's CEO compensation performance award, again, it's still proposed and the milestones. It's very important if Tesla wants massive scale with robo taxis and humanoid robots that they have an incredible chip architecture and one that's extremely energy efficient you need bang for buck designing the brain and the body is going to allow tesla to have incredible performance low operational costs massive scale and put them in pole position to absolutely dominate both robo taxis and humanoid robots at massive scale and remember based on these milestones the operational milestones 
in Elon's new compensation package. The dude ain't getting paid unless Tesla can reach massive scale. I would like to point something out. It's probably going to be a little while before Elon Musk will have been able to tick any operational milestone required in tandem with the market value milestone, in my opinion. Now, I could be wrong. I'd love to be wrong. But Tesla to date has delivered roughly 8 million vehicles. How long would it take Tesla to deliver an additional 12 million vehicles? Probably a number of years in the best case scenario. They're currently producing a little under 2 million a year. Do the math. So that could take some time. What about 10 million active FSD subscriptions? Well, obviously, if there's 8 million vehicles roughly delivered today, even if 100% of people subscribe to FSD, and they won't, although close to that could eventually, they still don't have a large enough fleet. So that could take a few years as well. How long until Tesla could produce 1 million robots? And not just produce, but deliver them. I think that the most likely interim operational milestone, the most likely to be achieved first is actually 1 million robo-taxis in commercial operation. We've already got roughly 8 million vehicles on roads that with an over-the-air software update in theory can operate autonomously. However, maybe the fine print implies that these cannot be custom-owned vehicles contributing and adding to the fleet, but Tesla exclusive robo-taxis, most likely the latter. So here's the thing. The next 12 million vehicles delivered will all require the latest AI hardware, AI chips. AI5 and then AI6, these are the chips most likely to be in almost all of the products required for the million robotaxis, the million robots, the 10 million active FSD subscriptions, and then subsequently the tens and then hundreds of billions of dollars in earnings. I saw a great visualization from David Lee, not the same, on X. He posted this visualization relating to Elon Musk's compensation package. Each of the 12 tranches for market cap for Tesla, again, these are over here, two trillion, two and a half, three, blah, 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 all the way down to an $8.5 trillion valuation. And he can't just hit one of those. In addition, also needs an operational milestone. Otherwise, the tranche doesn't unlock. So he can't just pop the stock. The first tranche would require Tesla to reach a market capitalization about 36 times that of Government Motors, who, as we know, led and matter. Next tranche, 29 times the value of Ferrari. The third tranche, not even a third of the way in there, just at the 25% mark, one quarter of the way, 12 times Toyota's market cap. The midway point, double Amazon, eighth tranche, triple Meta, aka Facebook. The ninth tranche, two and a half times Google slash Alphabet. The 10th, double Apple. The 11th, double Microsoft. The 12th, double Nvidia. This is the medium term carrot that Musk is aiming for. 12th tranche unlocked, Tesla worth $8.5 trillion and necessarily doing at least $4 billion in adjusted EBITDA, aka profits, at least. And this all hinges on the successful deployment of autonomous capable vehicles slash robo taxis and a gigantic fleet of intelligent, useful humanoid robots. In conclusion, a lot of this, in fact, basically all of this, requires this. Tesla's AI5 and then subsequent AI6 chip. The future success of the company really does hinge on this. Want more content? Early access? Bunch of perks? Click the links in the pinned comment. AG1 is awesome. I've been taking it daily now for more than three years. It's a great way to fill in nutritional gaps. It's packed full of vitamins, minerals, and whole food source nutrients, plus has prebiotics, probiotics, and adaptogens to improve gut health, regularity, and help your body handle stress. I'm always looking for an edge to help me feel and perform my best, which is why I haven't missed a day of AG1 for more than three years. Just try it and see how you feel. Click the link in the pinned comment or head to drinkag1.com slash SMR and get yourself a free one-year supply of vitamin D3 plus K2 and five travel packs.